Yes, here we go again with the action package that makes Saturday lunchtime your grapple and crunch time. As once again, we offer you the pick of the crop from the wild world of professional wrestling. Coming up later, a great top of the bill contest. But they're already in fighting mood down there, so let's get right alongside our man of the ringside as we join Kent Walton. Thank you, and hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you, and welcome to the Battersea Town Hall, and we welcome you to an international heavyweight contest. More about this contest between Ray Steele and Casual Martin from your MC, Brian Crabtree. And we start this lunchtime stage with a contest, an international heavyweight contest of six three-minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions, or a knockout will decide the winner. Presenting to you on my left in the red corner from Antigua, would you welcome, please, Caswell Martin. <laughs> His opponent in the blue corner, a wrestler who has represented Great Britain all over the world in the tournaments. Ladies and gentlemen, from Wakefield in Yorkshire, Ray Steele. So, Ray Steele, the former British champion, of course, who only in a couple of weeks' time takes on Pat Ro Roach to see if he can get that title back off him in the 90-day clause, is taking on Casual Martin. A pretty good match this should be. Six three-minute rounds, two falls to this side. Six away, round one. Now then, Ray Steele, who... Uh, lost that British title to Pat Roach at the end of last month, do you remember seeing? Or, or, or about six weeks ago, it was. And Ray, of course, delighted to have the chance to get that title at his back, which he regards as his own, the British heavyweight championship. When we go to Digbeth, Birmingham, and you'll be able to see that on television in just about two weeks' time. But for the moment, this is an all non-title bout, and he's got problems against one of the finest wrestlers in the country today from St. John's Antigua, West Indies, Caswell Martin. Caswell Martin at 14.13. Just on the heavyweight lower limit. So he could train down easily to mid heavyweight if he wanted to. But generally it takes on heavyweight because he's that good. Peter Zakash, the referee in this part. Peter Zakash, of course, the former Hungarian. Now from Budapest, now uh, naturalized British. Just a minute to go in this uh, first round of six. to bet on this one, these two real top wrestlers, these fellas. Master technicians, both of them. Great fine to Martin. Side headlock to Raisty. Good lead up first round with both men setting their sights right on the bell of round one. <laughs> so, Caswell Martin from Antigua, West Indies, 1413, 
You arrived in the UK first as a young boy in 1950s and took up physical culture right then. And uh, he had a bit of bad luck in his first few pro parts, but soon became one of the popular heavyweights in the country. Six away, round two. Round two, five rounds to go, two falls to the side, no score. So a full Nelson when Steele's got it on. Seems to be quite a full Nelson. Look at that. Now, see if Caswell Marley can do it. King's Martin right over the top. Side headlock from Steve. Oh, no, no, not as early as round two, short of the forearm uppercuts. If Steele does more of that, he's liable to get a head back. Yes, thank you. As Casual Martin is a first night flying tackle. Caught on the way. Cross press and trouble for Martin. And he's got the first one, Ray Steele, in round two. It just took one minute, 22 seconds, for Steele to get the first fall in the second round. Thank you. In round two, the referee gets the first fall to the blue corner, Ray Steele. Let's have a look at this now again. It's very quick indeed, beautifully held. See Ray Steele taking the crotch hold there, catching him from a, him from a, a, a flying tackle, slams him down, and the way he comes tearing around, doesn't look so fast and slow, but at least he's there, and making sure that all the both arms and the legs are held for a shoulder press. Round three coming up. Six away, round three. So now, Caswell Martin will be anxious to equalize as soon as he possibly can, because these rounds are only three minute rounds, and he's only got six of them, and we're at the start of the third. Into a backhammer, and Caswell Martin tries to hold on while Steele tries to lift him from a crutch hold. That's the way he got the fall just now. <laughs> Trying an over the top forearm smash, but still in the double handed wrist lever. Finger in a lock. Double into lock. And steel with the power. Just oh, casual Martin. As Martin goes down as one of his favorite bridges. Nice switch. Again, Martin with the great vine. Just a minute to go in the third. Again, the side head up to steal. It was a counter to this move that worried Steele just now. I, think, I don't know if it was a butt, I think it was a forearm. It's a Grovitz hold to Steele now, Grovitz. 
releases the grovet, goes for the uppercut again. Back to the grovet. 15 seconds he's got. Nice turn. And the back hammer. It's, oh, yes. The advantage now to Martin, but he's left it too late in this round. Unlucky for Caswell Martin then. This great wrestler from Antigua, West Indies, just got the advantage right at the end of the third round there. And uh, couldn't quite make it pay before the bell. So halfway through the bout, and this man's still searching for the equalizer. Seconds away, round four. Three to go. Fifteen stone twelve for a steal. Fourteen thirteen Caswell Martin. So Caswell giving away just about a stone here. Thirteen pounds anyway. Spin out. Side head chance for him. Steel. Doing most of the attacking still. And remember, Steel leading by one fall of now. Headlock and strangle, steal. Oh, so much, oh, so much balance with Caswell Martin, the way he got that right leg right over there. Still going for the face bar. That arm folded. Just a minute to go in the fourth. Caswell Martin coming back in every way he knows here, but still cannot get that score to equalize. Japanese strangle holds. Both men are trying it. See which one gets it first. Or will they release? Thirty seconds. Still there going for this Jap strangle hold. Looks like Martin. No. And still gives up on that particular hold and throws it. Nice. Just 12 seconds to go in the fourth. So Ray Steele, the ex-British champion. I wonder if he's in a mood like he is here this afternoon in just a couple of weeks when we see him against Pat Roach trying to get that title back because he does not like being without that belt. Ray Steele, still leading by one fall in this particular bout, of course, a non-title contest. He's got two rounds to go. See if he can hold that lead. Seconds away, round five. Round five. Kaz Martin from Antigua in the white trunks there. If I know him, even if, him, even if he's giving away a stone, he'll do his utmost to get that equalizer as soon as possible in this round to give himself a round in which to get the winner. Because if he doesn't get the equalizer in round five, he's got no chance of the winner except by a knockout. 
Or, of course, a disqualification, which is very unlucky when you're unlikely when you're fighting race team. No. he's ever been disqualified in his life. I've never seen him foul yet. Class wrestlers need never bend the rules. That's the all referees know this. But, uh, don't have to watch them too closely. Yes. Oh. Yes, he's just put him off for that. Falling press could happen. It has happened from the side. So the equalizing fall to Kaz Martin in round five. And in round five, the equalizing fall goes to the right corner, Caswell Martin. Just took him one minute, 20 seconds into that fifth round to get the equalizer, which is exactly what he wanted. Now he's got round six in which to try and get the winner. But it's not going to be easy for him. Great wrestler though he is, giving away a stone. Not sure, this boy who was standby for Olympics in Mexico, he's going to go some in this final round six. Saints are laid, the Saints in the final round. One each. <laughs> Peter Zakash, the only thing he's told them to do the entire bout, just remember to shake hands, come out for the final round. Obviously, much happier when he was leading as he has been since round two. Well, a forearm uppercut from Steele, but I haven't seen a single headbutt from Kaz Martin yet. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he's been taking an awful lot of uh, forearm uppercuts. I really thought it was about time he delivered one of those. Specials of his, the butt to the forehead, the temple. Two minutes left in the bout now. One fall each. Can we get a result here? Flying tackle, but held easily by Steele. Goes over the cross press, but thrown off on two. Forearm uppercuts by Steele. Watch for the headbutt now in retaliation. Oh, who feels he? Now then, which one? Which one has taken it worse now? Five, six. Steele getting up. Martin getting up, just about. And it's a double arm. Castle Martin going underneath for the further shoulder press. Oh, very near. Very near. At least he had the first chance after they both got up at a pencil. Just a minute to go in this final round. 60 seconds to go. Are we going to get a result here, or is this going to be a draw? Either way, it's been a terrific contest. And the next time we see Ray Steele will be against Pat Roach to try and get his title back. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds given a folding press and trouble for Steele. Uh, uh. So Casual Martin, give him his due, has had two chances. Just 10 seconds now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, and the seal trots. Three, two, and it's too late. It's too late. So it's a one forty draw, and what a good one it was. Thank you. After a titanic contest of six three minute rounds, the referee's decision. It's a draw. Your appreciation for Ray Steele and Castle Martin.
Thank you, Brian. Yes, what a draw it was. Now, don't forget, Grapple fans, Burley Barry Douglas from Leeds has a weight advantage over world mid-heavyweight champion Marty Jones. I just wonder if that's going to be enough. We'll see right after the break. <laughs> 